Okay students, today we are going to start a new chapter of ICSE class 10 biology. The chapter is endocrine system. So this is the introduction of this chapter. In this video we will study about the endocrine system, the endocrine glands which are present in the body, hormones and the characteristics of hormones. Okay, so let's start. Now, first let us know what is this endocrine system. Now, as we know that in our body, there are many complex processes that are occurring whether it is digestion or blood circulation or any kind of complex process it needs to be maintained properly so that those processes occurs properly at a proper time and at proper interval okay so in order to maintain that there is a system called the endocrine system now this endocrine system is made up of various glandular structures or the glands you can say that are known as endocrine glands so that endocrine glands secrete a substance now gland what is what do you mean by glands glands are those structures which secrete a substance okay whether it is enzymes or hormones endocrine glands generally secrete hormones Hormones are a kind of chemical which acts as a regulator. Okay, so that chemicals or those hormones, they maintain those complex processes. Okay, so first let us know what are endocrine glands and hormones. Now, endocrine glands are the ductless glands. Now, what are these ductless glands? Ductless glands means that endocrine glands are those glands uh, which secretes its secretion directly into the blood okay they do not need any kind of special duct duct is a tube like structure okay so they do not need any special kind of tube like structure for its secretion because they pour its secretion directly into the blood and that secretions sec secretions here refers to the hormones so that hormones travel through the blood and reach the target organ where it is needed okay so they are the ductless gland now what are hormones hormones are the secretions of the endocrine glands these endocrine glands they secrete a substance called hormones so hormones are carried to all parts by the blood but the effect is produced in the target cells or organs only now hormones are generally poured into the blood by the endocrine glands so it reaches various parts of the body but its effect will be in the target cells only suppose uh, a hormone is needed in a particular organ so it will act in that particular uh, organ only okay not in any other organ and hormones are also called the chemical regulators because the these are chemicals okay and they regulate the chemical uh, they regulate the complex processes now what are the properties of these hormones so the first property that is is it is secreted directly into the blood okay from the endocrine glands it is secreted directly into the blood now they act on the target organs or the cells produce in small quantities and are very active okay so these hormones are generally produced in small quantities but biologically they are very active okay their small quantity can make a huge difference now next is some are peptides peptides are proteins okay so some hormones are proteins while some are amino derivatives amino is the monomer unit of protein okay means amino acid joined together to form the peptide or protein so some hormones are made up of amino and some are steroids now steroid is another kind of substance uh, another kind of molecule next is their hyper secretion and hypo secretion can lead to serious consequences now what is this hyper secretion and hypo secretion hyper secretion is the secretion of hormone which is more than the threshold means threshold is the limitation but if the secretion of that hormone crosses that limitation means it is secreted in excess then it is called hyper secretion okay and hypo means it is below the threshold limit okay means it is produced in very small quantity which if suppose a particular hormones is needed in a particular limit 
and if that is secreted below that limit then that is known as hyposecretion so both this condition whether it is hypersecretion or hyposecretion it can leads to serious consequences okay it can leads to any kind of disorder next is endocrine glands we need to study about these four endocrine glands uh, in this chapter okay so endocrine glands the first is adrenal gland pancreas gland thyroid gland and pituitary gland so in the next video we will study about these glands in detail where are these found and what are its functions and secretions so this was the introduction of the endocrine system if you like the video subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching we will meet in the next part